fairy hearted sod would cast the tender on a cow. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. I have a brother who works in Gringotts. <laughs> Couldn't pay me enough to sit behind a desk all day. Levio, <laughs> send you. Too late for you to learn the error of your... Rebellion! Rebellion. Work in the mines at one time or other. Someone's here. Let me open. Accio. Let me open. Accio. Send it. Rebellion. Cast fiends. 
Rebellio. If only someone would come to the aid. Revelio. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe. But if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. The Grim, if you saw one, is an omen. Omens don't attack you, so I doubt an invisibility potion will do you much good. I can see you don't believe me. Fine, then my blood will be on your hands. No kindness in the youth of today. Still in the market for an invisibility potion? You've changed your mind. I'm afraid I'm all out of invisibility potion. I suggest finding somewhere safe and being especially careful. Safe? Careful? Yes, that makes sense. And you're sure you don't... No. Very well. Hopefully the Grim, or whatever it has foretold, doesn't get me first. <laughs> Rebellion. Rebellion. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Incendio. Incendio. Accio. Incendio. Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion.
Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Rebellion. Upper Horsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. <sighs> Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungles. Simply at my wit's end. How did your brother Bardolf end up in St. Mungo's? <sighs> Bardolf had spent the entire day hand-picking herbs and roots for us. When a group of Ranrock's lot appeared and demanded the harvest for themselves, Bardolf refused. In their anger, they held him against the rock and robbed him. <sighs> the moment he left St. Mungo's, he vowed revenge. I worry he may be dabbling in magic that he will one day regret. Why don't you simply leave the area for now? Upper Hawksfield is my home. Baldolf and I grew up here. No, we are standing firm. Once my brother returns, then we shall decide what to do next. He's gone to seek Victor Rookwood's advice. I didn't approve of that idea, but perhaps in the end it will help. You said Ranrock's loyalists have set up camp here. Where, precisely? To the south, across the river. Last I heard, there were several loyalists in each camp. I won't go near them. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. map. It 
doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. Revelio. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now, had by dark wizards he was. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Revelio. <laughs> Bardolf Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizard. Excuse me. Did you say something about Bardolf Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumor is he was seen in the forest practicing dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. Do you think Bardolf may have simply run off? No. Bardolf's run that shop with Claire his entire life. He'd not give it up for anything. He swore he'd be back in a fortnight. My instincts are that he's been held captive, or worse. Why would Bardolf want to get involved with the Ashwinders? Oh, he had a terrible run-in with Ranrock's loyalists. Changed him. He vowed never to feel powerless again. I think he sought the Ashwinders out to learn their secrets. Victor Rockwood, at least, seems somehow immune to Ranrock's loyalists. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her.
Rebellion. I'm not sure I can believe most of the stories. I could use some gold. That's what comes of a life in the <laughs> Here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Revelio. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. Pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you... A student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne. She might reveal new information. I'd rather not go to Azkaban. Is there no other way to help? I fear not. She cannot leave. And a student like you may provide the impetus she needs to save herself. I would never suggest so drastic a measure if I did not feel it was necessary. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul. Never was the brightest girl. And that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is Muggleborn, sealed her fate. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. 
Don't worry, I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Mind your step? I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Ellen, Ellen, now you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Wonder who lives here? Revelio.
Rebellion. 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 